chiffon and line it up so that you've got the fold edges together. So we're going to put the fold edges together and if it's not all that straight that's okay don't worry about that and then once you do that you're going to fold it over again so what you're going to do now is you're going to take this part and you're going to keep folding it over until you, you keep meeting up your fold edges. it almost looks like a triangle shape and now what you're going to do here's my trusty little chalk pencil you're going to take it and like I said, it's not going to be perfect. You're going to take your measuring tape and you're going to measure from that point down to this point. So you have 14 inches without the selvage edge. So I'm going to draw a line right here, 14 inches. And I'm going to do the same thing as I move along. I'm going to draw 14 inches. On the end, I'm doing 14 inches again. We have our circle drawn, or our 14 inch mark from the center of our circle. So you're going to just cut it out. It's going to be kind of thick because you get all these layers. So we're going to cut out our circle. And they ain't got to be perfect. Like I said, just, just want to just cut it out. Okay, so now, we have our circle cut out and if you start to um, open it up now you can see what's happening and as you see we now have two circles we have one big circle as you can see it's one big circle we're just going to work with one of the circles now because this was actually two pieces so I'm going to take one off so what you're going to do let's fold it back into our circle circle again so I'm going to fold it back into, in the, into fours because we want to get back to our center point again. So line this up. Chiffon has a mind of its own sometimes. Okay, we've got that lined up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is um, you're going to cut out the waistline. So if this was my little skirt for my little person, then I would actually just, and, and there's no right or wrong way about doing that so I'm just going to guess at it and I'm just going to cut the top out of the circle just like that. By cutting that top out so now you have a circle with a hole in the middle. Okay so you see your hole in the middle? Of course we know that this is not going to be anybody's waist but the larger you cut it the bigger it gets or in my case I don't want to make this any larger because if I cut it out anymore I'm going to lose my width of my circle. So what I'm going to do now is um, if you were making more than one circle you would kind of cut this down and you would just have one but as you can see it looks like a little skirt. 